So you got yourself an iPad Pro and you don't know how to be productive, you don't know how to take notes, you don't know what to use on it. I'm gonna show you how I take notes on my iPad Pro uh, 10.5 and I'm gonna show you the apps that I use to be productive and within my business right now, let's go. What's up guys? and gals. TJ here with another video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever I release new videos. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the iPad Pro 10.5 version and how I take notes on it. I'm not necessarily sure how I'm gonna record this video, but I'm going to I'm going to work it out. It's, it's, it's gonna happen, it's gonna work. And on my iPad Pro, I do take a lot of notes. Um, I'm very productive. I do have um, a MacBook Pro and I have another laptop, I have another tablet, and I, of course, have my two desktops that I use. But my iPad, I've noticed that since I've gotten it, I've been doing a lot of note taking, a lot of organization, um, a lot of, I'm, I'm being productive with my iPad because it's so easy, so convenient to take around, take with me. So if I'm out at the doctor's office, if I am at my mom's house, if I am just sitting around waiting for something, I can pull out my iPad real quick, take jot down some notes, um, clear my head of all the thoughts and ideas that I have and I can put them down on paper which is actually going to be on the iPad itself because I do have the handy dandy Apple Pencil and you know the thing about it is I had the Note 5 a long time ago you know you have the the S Pen you can take notes and I really love that feature of that but I never had that in a tablet form and so now since I have the iPad Pro I can pull out my pencil I can actually write on the device, it really um, invokes creativity. Um, I'm actually back in the drawing. Um, I'm doing a little bit of lettering. I'm doing some designing for my uh, Shopify t-shirt line. Stay tuned. You know, it's just like a creative beast, you know, and I sound like one of those Apple fanboys, but you know, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> We're gonna get right into this video. I'm just gonna show you how I take notes, what apps I use to take different notes and different things like that. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna open up our iPad here. Um, if you wanna get this uh, composition notebook uh, cover, uh, it has this handy lock on it to where the screen will turn off whenever you flip that down. Um, I put it in the uh, comment section below. So we're gonna open up our iPad. And put my code in. All right, so the first app that I use for uh, taking notes is gonna be Notability. Um, if you have the iPad Pro, then you know that it has this menu uh, down here at the bottom if you have iOS 11.4 or above, I believe. Um, then when we click on that, it's gonna open up our Notability app. So with the Notability app, you can essentially just take notes. So I'm gonna show you some examples of the notes that I've taken. I'm also gonna show you um, how to set up your note page and I'm gonna show you how to multitask. So let's see, this note, this uh, note that I put right here, I believe is for a video. Yeah, this is for the video that I did uh, the day before yesterday about promoting your brand. If you wanna see that video, I will put it in the cards above. Um, but what you can do is you can go in here, you can set your uh, pencil size, color, um, the tip of the pencil, and of course you can just write away. So if I want to just write my name, And it's just that easy, um, you know, circling things. You can go over here to the highlighter if you want to um, and, and highlight things. You can import pictures and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, here's another one. I always try to kind of make my notes visually appealing. I think it's better when you're taking notes to, I guess, be creative. Um, so like if you want to do something like that, of course you could just, and I know I'm gonna mess this one up trying to do this, but you can click the the T button, which is actually just a letter button. You can click on the page and you can type 
and it'll, it'll type on the line for you, you know, whatever you want. Um, you can change the font right here. I like the noteworthy font. You can also add different fonts if you want to. Uh, you can change the size of the font here. You can uh, put bold, italics, underline, and you can also just set favorites. Like say for instance, you know, you wanna set uh, one font in size for a title, one font in size for a heading, and one font in size for the body of something. You can just change that where you can do it very quickly right here. All right, so super cool. Um, so this is one where I added, uh, I did kind of a creative uh, title here and I went through and I took some different notes. I added some photos in, um, you know, you can highlight things to show different, different parts of your notes. So like if you see this, hello, you want to circle that, you can circle that in green, you know, just to highlight things and really put emphasis uh, on different words, you know, you may want to emphasize certain things and you can do that. All right, so let me show you how to, if you want to start from scratch and do some notes. So you're gonna push this little button right here and this is gonna be your notes. If you wanna change the page color or type, you can click on this um, and then you click on that and you click on paper and you can change to whatever paper you want. You can change the size of the lines. You can have a grid. If you, you know, you wanna do, you know, some kind of graph or something like that. Uh, you can do that. If you want to change it, you can change it after you make it as well. So if you change your mind, you know, you can, you can change it right there and you can. Now I do have a matte uh, cover on the front of this and it does give it like a really good I don't know if you can hear that let me see if you can hear this it just kind of give it like a scrubby kind of feel so it actually feels like you're writing on paper when you're doing that so I'm going to show you how to do my multitasking so if you're familiar with the uh, iOS 11 you scroll up from the bottom and if you want to get a multi-screen you click on it drag it up and you can drag it over to the side. And so like if I want to pull up, uh, if I'm going to take notes about a product that I'm reviewing or something like that, um, let's see. You can go to Yahoo, you can pull up uh, a, a news article or whatever you're researching. You can zoom in, um, you can move this over if you need to so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but you can look at that and you know if you want to do something and you want to take notes you can sit here and you know you can write your notes um, you can emphasize your notes you know just be creative um, but one of the really cool things is when you like say for instance you want to put this photo on there you can just click this photo drag it over and automatically this picture is inside of your note and on that you can emphasize things, um, you know, you can do some animations if you want to. Um, you see another picture that you want to see, you can click that and drag that over. Uh, you can add captions to it. Um, you can change the different the sizes of your photos. Um, once you set in place, you know, you can write on it and, and you can do different things like that. So that's one way that I do uh, multitasking when I'm taking my notes. Notability is probably the best note taking app if you do have the uh, iPad Pro. Um, so what I am going to show you, let's get rid of that, is what I use for like if I want to do lettering. So with my Shopify store, I do uh, like to create designs to put on my um, my stuff. I designed shirts, t-shirts, you know, long ago, and I just decided to design them on the computer. But now I can actually be creative with this uh, Apple Pencil and and do those different things. You can see, I, I, <laughs> I try to draw things, but I'm not necessarily the best at uh, drawing. That's my niece. <laughs> So if you want to, this app right here, I didn't tell you what the app name was. This app right here is called Procreate. Um, and with Procreate, you can do some really cool things. Actually, let me go back. I'm just gonna make a new, um, let's see, 12, 
80 by 720. I think that's the, yeah. All right. So like say for instance, I want to do kind of like a calligraphy type thing. You can click on calligraphy. You can click on brush pen and you know, you can just go to town. Now you see how thick that is. Um, if you're using Procreate, you'll know that this is the gesture controls. Two fingers will backspace things. Um, and that's how you make the, the marker size big or small. And that deals with the opacity. So if you want it kind of lighter, you can do that. If you want it smaller, you can do that. And um, it's just really cool if you if you like doing uh, lettering. I'm not very good with lettering, just to be honest with you. But I am pretty good with um, doing some things like uh, just creating simple designs, um, putting simple letters, sayings, and things like that. And you can export these as a PNG file, and you know you can put them on your on your T-shirt, so your merch or whatever it is. You can change the color here. So whatever you want um, and you can draw so I'm going to show you some of my drawings that I've done so this is a drawing that I did uh, here this is another cool thing I'm going to show you real quick is so I drew this whole photo right here so if you wanted to start like maybe a YouTube channel where you actually show people how to draw things um, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to show a time-lapse you just click on that little wrench button you click on time-lapse replay and it will um, just kind of go through the whole drawing process there. Now, it normally would just go regular, but I'm fast forwarding it for video purposes. And um, that's pretty cool. If you were in that thing, I'm going to show you another app here. And this is something that is kind of new to me. So it may take me a second to find it. Um, I do have Adobe Draw. I don't think I've used that yet. Let me click on it to make sure. I don't think Yeah, I haven't used that yet. Is it that one? No, it ain't that one. There it is, Adobe Photoshop Sketch. So this is a really cool um, app and I'm gonna make a separate video about this because my niche actually just turned me on uh, to this app. But what I was able to do was something really cool like this. So what I did was you can take your a photo, like a real live photo. Um, so that was, a photo that I, I took the other day and what I did was I just put it as an image background and I was able to sketch over it and I actually drew this whole thing I don't know if I can show you I may be able to show you here time-lapse you can also do time-lapse drawing the time-lapse drawing on here is not as good to me uh, it's not as good to me as it is on procreate but it does work um, maybe I think it works Yeah, see, it don't it don't let you hit. Uh, so as you can see, like on here, you, you might not be able to tell it on there, but every time it flashed is when I was flashing with the picture off. As you can see right there, I had already drawn the eyes, uh, my beard, my shirt, my hat. Um, I went through colored in my skin, and that was it. I mean, that was that was the picture. So if 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 you want to do like cartooning. Or um, I know a lot of people do car cartooning on Fiverr. Um, and, you know, a picture like this being cartoon, you can charge fifteen dollars to cartoon somebody's picture um, on, on Fiverr. Um, this right here, I drew this uh, last night, and this one was also. I don't know, you can't see, you can't really tell the difference between the, the real photo and what I drew, but anybody can do this. Even if you're not like a, an artist and you don't draw, anybody can do this. Um, because what you do, like I said, is you put the image behind it and all you're doing is tracing. So let me see if I can. So this is the original uh, image here. And I went through and I uh, copied the lines. As you can see, I'd already copied all those lines. And you see, it don't look like great right there. <laughs> right there. Um, but, you know, I went down and uh, I colored in the skin. I colored in the rest of the lines. That's how far I've gotten so far. Let me see if I can go back. So that's with the face halfway colored. I hadn't drawn the lips or the nose yet. Let 
and that right there was the finished product. So anybody can do this. This is not something that you have to be like a super artist to do. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. The three apps that I showed you all today was uh, Notability. That was the first one. The second one I showed you was Procreate. And the third one was Adobe Sketch. And all three of those, uh, I think um, Notability may have been $9.99. I think Procreate may have been $9.99. And the Adobe Sketch is actually a free product. So if you want to go check those out, I'll put the names to those in the uh, comment or the description section below. And if you want to see any more videos uh, with the iPad Pro and the drawing or the sketching or anything, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to make those videos because I do like to draw. All right, that folks. It's how I take notes with my iPad Pro. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos because I really appreciate it. You know, don't like it like, you know, non-emotionally. I just want you to like it. Thanks, guys.